Shonda Golden, and we're hanging out here in the vault with Trailblazer Rosie Flores. Rosie. Hey, girl. <laughs> How you doing, girlfriend? Awesome. You did an amazing job today at the clinic. Thank you. Really? Thank yeah, you. It was Thanks. awesome. Thank you. I appreciate You're that. like a big hero for me because you have been just doing it, living it, since you were, what, 16 first band? Mm hmm Okay. That's right. And then when did you go on the road? When I was 18. Wow. We got in a van, a little B VW van, uh -huh. and we went all the way from San Diego to San Antonio, where I was born. Awesome. And we played in this really cool little psychedelic bar. It was called the Kit Kat Club. Mm hmm And it was where, you know, back in the 60s, where a lot of, you know, rock and roll bands played. Cool. And I had the first... To my knowledge, I had the first all-girl rock and roll band. That's awesome. So, um, unbeknownst to me, that there, there was a band called Fanny that was in their garage, and they uh -huh. were working, too. They were out of L.A. But it was so much fun. I can't tell you how much fun it was to be a teenager. Right. And, and having the freedom of getting in a van, hitting the road, and going to play. Right. And play music. And it was like a dream come true. And I've been doing it ever since. I just love it. So did you always know that this was going to be your path in life? Because most people, yeah, that's awesome. I mean, it just, I didn't, I didn't think that I should ever do anything else. Mm -hmm. Once I started doing this, it just felt like I do this forever. Wow. And did you come up against a lot of, like, negative reactions to the fact that you were a woman? Never. Never, really? never a negative reaction. I mean, sure, it's a man's world out there. Mm -hmm. and, Especially and, in the music industry. I mean, rock and roll. It's yeah. And I, a lot of times you used to think, well, if I was, I was a guy, I would have gotten a lot more gigs playing guitar or probably, probably would have gotten signed earlier or something. Because when I started out, it wasn't, there, there were not very many females in rock and roll right. at that time. And um, yeah, it was rare. You mm -hmm. know? But uh, I always stayed with it. And awesome. I always had fun, and I would meet, you know, guys who would say, "Wow, you're pretty good for a girl." <laughs> and I, and instead of taking that as in an insult, I would say, "Really, thanks." That's a great attitude because yeah, I think I might it, take that as an insult. You know, you know what I mean? But but if you think about it, they they weren't trying to insult me. Okay. Had they done it in an insulting tone? Mm -hmm. But they didn't know how to say anything else because there were no other girls playing lead guitar. Right. So guys at the time they didn't, they didn't, and then they would catch themselves and go, I, I, I didn't like mean it that way, and I would go, No, 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 I know what you mean. Okay, cool. And I would say thank you. Great you attitude. Know. I've I've gotten through my whole life that like that. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's so easy to take things the wrong way. Right. And you could choose to take things the right way, mm -hmm. and not cause a ruckus. So. Life is easier that way, so yeah. I do it. Good for you. It's a lesson for you folks. Yeah. So who are you signed with now? What record company? I am with Bloodshot Records out okay. of Chicago. Very cool. My last two CDs are on there. A Girl of the Century is mm -hmm. my newest one. I play all the guitar on the newest awesome. record. Awesome. Which is really cool because I got written up in Guitar Player Magazine mm -hmm. and Premier Guitar and just all the guitar mags. Guitar yeah. World. Because people are finally realizing that I'm a guitar player um, because it's taken many years for me to stand out and be confident enough to make a record and not have to hire anybody else. Good for you. To play. And it, it's fun because I, I developed my own, I have developed my own sound. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Well, you fun. kicked <laughs> up there today. That was awesome. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I, I, was, I was hoping it got through. Okay, I was, no. It was uh, a little nerve-wracking because the, the fellow that went on before me was amazing. <laughs> oh, my God, i got to follow that guy. He, he's like an amazing guitar Yeah, player. right. But the, the energy was there. I mean, the people were into it. So, I mean, that's, that was awesome. Very yeah, cool. Yeah. You were here today for the 130th uh, anniversary of Gretsch. Yeah. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. So how long have you been playing on a Gretsch? I've been playing Gretsches since about... Um, not as long as you would think. Um, I moved into playing uh, the Penguin mm -hmm. in 2008. And then I started playing the Electromatic, the little Corvette style one that you saw me play today. Right. 
and I also um, have a, a beautiful Tennessee rose. Oh, wonderful! It's like it's kind of my rockabilly guitar, mm -hmm. and it's in the one in all the pictures. And then um, actually, I just got turned on to the Jim Dandy acoustic. Oh, cool! Great little parlor guitar. The neck on it's just tiny, and you can play lead on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's got a pickup and everything too. So, yeah, Very those are cool. my grudges. Yeah, and uh, great company. The people that work there mm -hmm. are they're amazing. I really love working with Joe Carducci. I, I got to meet Fred Gretsch today. Nicest there, man. It's it's like a bunch of people that are in it for really what it is is the players and the music. Right. And you feel that. Mm -hmm. You feel that connection. And I've been with other few other guitar play people. I mean, I, I don't want to diss anybody no, else. No, no, no. I play a few other guitars, but there's just something about Gretsch that's very homespun and you feel like your family and, and that's that's a really cool thing. That's awesome. And the Fender people are like that. Oh, yeah. FMIC is a great company. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. They're, love, 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 love them. They're super cool people. Very cool. Well, I'm going to let you go because we've had a super long day yeah. and everyone's tired. <laughs> You look fabulous, though, darling. Oh, well, but thank you. I'm not tired yet. I'm still, I'm ready to go. Oh, you're go. ready to go? Well, I'm good. i go out all night long. Oh, awesome. Well, you'll have to go gambling. You're here in Reno, I right? Might. Gamble I time. Might. There you go. Chips. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you again, and I admire oh, you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Goldie, it was great to meet you. <laughs> thank you. It has you. been great to be here in this wonderful vault. Thank you. I got my eye on a, a, a bass guitar over there. Well, go talk to my husband. Yeah, I already go did. bat your eyes. I already did. <laughs> oh, he's already given me kind of a deal. Oh, so. see? Yeah. I, mean, I play bass. I play drums. I'm starting to play ukulele now. Awesome. It's kind of funny. But yeah, mm -hmm. I like I like playing other instruments. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. Well, thank you again. You're so welcome. Thank <laughs> you to all the people that work behind the camera. And, I have the best and, uh, crew. All the, all the lovely compliments and, and uh, just, you know, food and everything. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. And the you. wine. Yeah. Thanks for the wine. <laughs> Couldn't have got up there without that. No way. <laughs> so if you're ever in Reno, come down to the vault and check us out. We'd love to have you. And thank you again to Rosie. Woohoo! Yahoo! <laughs> See you later. Hi, Bizarre Guitars Rock. <laughs>